Hey boys and girls, it's Jeremy Hamilton with 5280 Angler with your weekly video fishing report. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've since I've done a report. Uh, it's a busy time of year, and uh, I'm I'm busy and I'm tired, so so sue me. Anyway, um, today I'm going to do uh, first. I'm out at the Dream Stream today, and uh, we'll talk about the Dream Stream first. Uh, right now, water is still low. Uh, we're still waiting for that runoff to get started. Don't know what the holdup is really, and uh, hopefully, hopefully soon we'll be we'll be uh, getting some higher water. It's it's still it's been holding steady right around 75 cfs for quite a while, but uh, but it's still fishing good. Uh, we've been 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 uh, using brown worms. That's pretty much always on the menu. Um, you can't go wrong with the brown San Juan worm. Um, we've also been seeing some PMDs finally showing up and, uh, PMD bar emergers have been working well. Nothing beats a good old fashioned flashback pheasant tail either. Um, also some caddis activity, uh, still seeing some of that. So, and, uh, and hopefully if the water picks up, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see even more of that. Also, um, uh, yellow sallies have been working. Uh, so, so any yellow sally nymph, a nice thing is a PMD nymph. Uh, bar merger works uh, really well for for yellow sallies. Uh, you also want to use if you're seeing any surface activity, uh, a, a yellow stimulator size 16 or so works well for those yellow sallies. Uh, again, we've been seeing caddis, good old fashioned elk hair caddis, pewter bar pewter bar caddis uh, in a tan have been working well. Uh, been seeing a few of the PMDs flying around, not many yet. Uh, I, I would expect those pretty soon to start popping though. So, so that would be a good option here pretty soon. Um, so that's pretty much it for, for Dreamstream. Fish the riffles. Fish are really getting up in the riffles and feeding heavy. Uh, pretty much if we've been seeing fish in the riffles and we can get a cast on them, we're catching them. We're eat, they're, they're eating it pretty well. So, so definitely look for fish and riffles, look for that in the morning. And, uh, and that's been working really well. And, and really kind of throughout the day, uh, that's the oxygenated water with the water being so low. Uh, that's really where you want to focus your attention and, uh, and you can really pick up a lot of fish that way. Uh, as far as Deckers goes, um, water's coming down nicely now. Uh, runoff, I think, is kind of, kind of slowing down there. Uh, we're, we're, uh, as I speak, it's about, I think it was 389 or so this morning CFS, uh, which is down from, from the mid 500s. Uh, clarity is really good. There is, <laughs> there's an amazing number of bugs going on right now. Uh, the other day out there, I saw saw big uh, golden stones. Uh, so so a a uh, Amy's ant is is always in order when when we see golden stones. Also being been seeing hoppers around. So an Amy's ant does uh, does great double duty there. Uh, you know, fish a dry dropper. Um, a Mercer's poxy back uh, golden stone works well as a dropper as well as like a brown Pat's rubber legs. Those are those are always going to be uh, something that works well when you're when you're seeing those. Again, PMDs are are around. Uh, so pheasant tails, uh, bars bars of mergers, uh, any any other kind of of uh, PMD type nymph is working well. Uh, also seeing some green drakes. Uh, is for, uh, the nymphs? The nymphs uh, haven't started seeing any any uh, adults yet, uh, but I would expect those kind of any day now. Uh, they usually don't last long, but if you're out there, uh, just be prepared. If you see green drakes, the fish will really uh, go after those. So so be aware of that. Also seeing some of those crane flies uh, hatching as adults. Uh, so so if you see a real aggressive uh, take on the surface, I would really um, they're kind of hard to find uh, in the fly shop, uh, a crane fly adult, but if you can pick some up, always keep some handy. You never know if, if you see an aggressive take on the surface, throw one on and, and, uh, skate it across the surface. You'd be surprised by the results. Um, always again, as far as nymphs go, uh, always pretty much always on the menu. There is, is going to be a brown worm, uh, red worms, tan worms. Uh, and crane fly larva, uh, stone flies, pats, rubber legs, uh, stuff like that. Um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, the, so it's actually been fishing really well. Again, fish are in riffles. They're also in deeper slots. 
the the water's been deep and fast, so so look for them in the in the slower uh, slots uh, on the downside of islands, on the inside edges where it's a little slower. Now that the water's coming down a bit, they're gonna they're gonna really start to spread out, and uh, we're gonna start finding a lot of fish all over the place. Lots of big fish to be had there as well. So anyway, uh, fishing's been really good. Make sure to get out there. We've also been going to some to our uh, private waters, uh, Barta Lakes. We've been doing a bunch of catching tons of brook trout. If you haven't done that, I really recommend uh, looking into that. Uh, do a trip with us out there. Boxwood, Long Meadow, as always, have been have been fishing fantastic. Uh, water again, it was up, but it's starting to come down. I really think we're kind of on the tail end of runoff here, and and things are going to start getting really into the swing of things. Uh, with our with our summer fishing patterns. So anyway, that's our report for this week. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up with it a little more, but again, I've been busy, so sue me. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, follow us, 5280 Angler, on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram too, kind of keep up with me, see what, we, what I've been doing. Uh, Jeremy Hamilton Fly Fishing, and we'll see you on the water.